The telly addicts will be gathering over on BBC One in about ten minutes to face more TV teasers from Noel Edmonds. Here on two now, Ray Jenkins play, starring Amanda York as the girl in The Cage. Gave us a knife, it'd be easier. Give you a chiv? No chance. You might use it. Or give it that, Maisie. Then she can do herself improperly. That Miss Livesey's gonna get in real trouble, don't you think? She's supposed to hand pack everything in needlework, every bloody button in case you swallow them. And she let Maisie get in a ribbon, don't you think? You reckon she'll be elbowed? We do one thing wrong and bong it's punishment, but if staff let her try and do herself, nothing. But nothing that happens in here matters. It's all out there. You ask Macy that. You can't kill yourself in here. It's too easy. Bet your knives in the cookery room, balsa knives over there. You can kill yourself with a pin. Puncture the main vein. But she didn't. So she's an orphan. So it's a cry for help. Well, you either mean it or it's a gesture. She didn't because she didn't want to. The only surprise she'd get was if she woke up after and found she was dead. <laughs> We're not working, Georgina. <laughs> What's this, Paula? I should try. You can't think of anything else. I'm expressing myself, miss. All my most inner needs and desires are flooding to the surface. Bless. Miss Livesey says when they're out in the open, they're not dangerous, miss. It's only when they're bottled up that they fester and make you want to kill yourself, miss. The skull perfects fine. One day I imagine it all full of fresh fags, side by side, all my mates around it. Smokers of the world unite. Outside, though. Finished. Worker said I'd be in here two or three weeks and I come in, bong goes the door, over goes the key, and I've been in here three and a half months. Quiet, Elizabeth. I didn't expect to be locked in everywhere with muggers and oars and. I've not been shoplifting or anything. So why you got a social worker? Let's escape. 
Frankie, when do you want to go? What? Well, it's either got to be tomorrow or next week. Why? Next start lesson. Not me. Yeah, you're all mouth. This little shit old boss, I've done four months. I've had to settle down and everything because I was always picked on first. And I didn't want to mix with you white things. But now, it's all right. Anything's better than a cage. Will you help us? I missed my chance to get out of this trap and see my sister. I've been a good girl just for that. Oh, you might not have noticed, Smoky Nickers. There's a big bunch of keys on those nice people. Nobody gets out of here. You've got to play their stinking rules to get out. What don't you like here most? Not seeing my family. They're all split, you but... You said your mum said you stare out one more time, and you stare out. That's why she don't see you. My brother's seven, and he's not allowed to see me. My sister's 17, and she's pregnant. And I asked everybody if I could see her, but I wasn't allowed. So why do you play their games? You're a dum-dum. Outside, I can see her. Exactly. I've been here longer than anybody, and I haven't got a date. Because I've done a way to put you. And I've got more reason to be out than anybody. It's your fault. You smoke all the time. Oh, so I'm locked up longer. I smoke, so I break a rule. I break a rule, so I stay. Locked up. You reckon if I didn't smoke, they'd let me out? Georgina. If I didn't smoke, I think I'd... Break a lot of rules. Either way, I don't get out. All I need, next art lesson, is to have one old pottery teacher who couldn't run very fast because some great thieving friend will be sat on her head. Right? And the great thieving friend's going to say she was threatened by Paula if she didn't. And the friend's going to say we're going to Warrington when we're not. Where are you going? If I told you, you'd know. You'd say, and we'd get caught. Then when we got back, we'd know how they knew. You. What about clothes? What about money? I don't want to end up in here wearing a ribbon round my neck.
Warrington. Just walk. Paul, it's a bloody long way to Warrington. That's not natural. I can't. You can. Let's run, huh? What the hell did you get out for, then? A smoke. You thieving little devils! Why did you take them off him? Because I know people like him. Can you drive? No. Okay, I'll go and have a quick look and see if there are many in the bars, right? anything. I was just looking for some matches. Well, couldn't go in a pub, could I? I'm only eight. You the lookout? She's my sister. You see, we come shopping and I went into this tobacconist pretending to buy them for me dad and somehow I lost my purse. So we're broke. What tobacconists? The end of Shipley Parade. Why didn't you go back? We did. But I didn't have it. Honest. Cross me out and hope you buy me a drink. You don't stop, do you? Are you not? Tony, my son. Not bad, not bad. I'm Pete. The one that gets left behind with her first. I'm Amanda and she's Georgina. He asked you what you want to have to drink, Dum Dum. Grapefruit juice. I'll have an orange, please. Where do you live then? Warrington. Warrington? Yeah, that's where the babies have vodka in the bottle, isn't it? Can you get me a box of matches as well, please? Didn't your mum warn you about picking up strange young window cleaners? We don't live with our mum. She took something, but I didn't actually see. How many knives are there normally? Four. Just shut up. Why? Because. Look, when you fancy a bird, and I fancy you, my little vodka and grapefruit, the first thing you have to find out is how far you have to get home afterwards. Know what I mean? Now, Potter's Bar I can manage, but Warrington, you need a passport. What's up? Your sister's, right? Stepsisters. Oh. 
Well, I was asking the princess here about your different accents. Yeah, well, I live with Dad's first wife in Lewisham and Georgie lives with his second. Cheers. Gets a battling, does he, the old man? Knock, knock. Who's there? Vodka. Vodka who? Vodka I'll be using this time, yours or mine. <laughs> You're a bit out from Lewisham, aren't you? Do mad things, don't we, Bet? Bet? I said pet. Oh, on the spur of the moment, we just get on any bus without our coats and... Fancy you doing something mad now? If Tony comes. What do you reckon? Look, it's been a diabolical week. Rain twice, no birds in the bath. We've had a nice old couple of pints. Life's starting to look like a good weekend, so I go back and keep dropping the bucket. Let's go and have a nosh up west. Yeah. What time you got to be home, Georgie? Uh... Tea time. Lewisham, not Warrington, right? It's home? Somewhere near the river. Please. OK. In the past, if you've wanted to talk, any time, about anything, have I said no? The only thing that mattered was if you thought it was important we talked. Now I'm coming to you because I think it's important. It's not bribery. She's my friend. I put my assessment date at risk to help her. What makes you think that? Well, haven't I? No. Well, if I haven't, I don't have to help you. Paula didn't have a date. As soon as a girl comes here, I give her a date. Sometimes there are reasons why I can't give her a date, but I always give her the reason. Paula knew her reason. I want you to help if you want to. You want me to grass? It's ever explained. She's at risk. She's got no money. Where's she going to stay? Well, I ain't grassing. She's already stolen. A mad golfer gave their descriptions to the police. They matched with mine. She's my friend! Friend? Fine friend you turned out to be. You won't even help her when she's in trouble. Get out. Go on, get out. If you won't help us... Go on, go and do something useful. Don't put your arm around her. No contact. Leave her alone. Where a kid's dignity is concerned, you've got to be a very good actor. The gun of Warrington. So you can see inside. <laughs> Me, because I can't do anything else, but Tony, he's slumming. He's got 3,742 animals and he can't find a job. So he started this. What did you want to do? Something to do with houses. Must be good to want to do something. Anybody can. Like you don't know. You can't if you're full up of pain. You get to know houses cleaning windows. Even ones with bars on the windows and big lawns. You're from Broomfield, aren't you? Paul! So what are you going to do? Before I cut your ear off. What actually happens then? There's a lot of rumours. Like what? Your animals, beyond control. People don't know what to do with you. Normal prison, so you're locked up. Do I look like an animal? I don't know. We could say you helped her, so don't get too cocky. So, Paula, what does happen? 
Well, we go there to be assessed. And a date's fixed when they've decided what to do after looking at us. Prison, go home, not ours. Some of the kids in there, they're just inadequate. They ain't loonies. You know, they started on little things. But there are prostitutes and muggers, aren't there, Paul? And some of the real nasty ones. I don't know why they're there. Only old Adams would take them. <laughs> anyway, for some of them, it's good they're locked up. It's safe. They like it. I mean, before, nobody cared. Nobody listened. Knew what to do. She's a junkie. So what? Exterminator. <laughs> Adam said that his job wasn't what he could do, but how he could listen. And is it good for you? You're locked up. You're brainy. You think I'm dangerous, don't you? I don't think you'd be in a place like that without some good reason. You must have done something. And why did you escape? Yes. Yeah, well, we all know what she's gone round there for. All right, I'll come round then. But the police have got her address anyway. Stanley knife. My mum just won't see me. She says I'm not the child she brought up. I keep... I got no form. I just keep breaking up her house when I get the chance. Talking about it just makes arguments, doesn't it, Paul? Since I've been in Broomfield, my problems are bigger. I can't think straight anymore. What about? Why nobody likes me? I mean, you don't know whether to believe people or not. I mean, you think you've made a friend with one girl, and the next thing you know, she's gone behind your back telling everybody your problem. But that happens outside. The theory is, if you can cope with people inside, you can outside. You managed OK with us. And that just proves inside isn't out here. They want you to be yourself, don't they, Paul? But I've got a quick, violent temper, and if I acted normal, I'd end up bashing everybody. So what now? Do you like me? Yeah, I'm into birds with tons of air. Will you give us money to get a train? No. I'll, I'll tell you where I live. You know what I mean? I don't want to fight you two. I want to go back, Paul. OK. You're drawing Greenwich on the way. It's all right. You won't get in trouble. I say I threatened you with a knife. It's mad. Best right. Teachers, social workers, they're always telling you to be yourself. But if you do what you want to do, you always hurt somebody else. It's bananas. But really, they want me to behave, fit the tracks. They want me to be good their way, not free mine. What did you do when you were free? What I wanted. First left, then right. <coughs> Staying out. Not going to school. Mum didn't care. Mine did. But I don't blame her. A lot of kids do what you did, but don't end up where you are. What about your dad? Oh, he's in the Merchant Navy. And I earn money. Oh, yeah, doing what? He asks, full of interest. I let people take photographs of me. They wanted the photographs and I wanted the money. Got to live somehow when you don't go home, ain't you? They didn't make me do it. Wasn't it degrading? For them as much as me. I remember one day I bought 
someone I my mum went into a bit. And she's the one who's out of control, but I get locked up. You pull in here. That's Adam's just car outside, are So it's all right for you to go. Take care. Well, even if I do feel old and dirty, and I can't say thanks, I still don't like those keys. She's got a knife. Worker put her in that bloody prison. She put herself there. You take her away from me because she was always running away, and now look at you, she's run away from you. Bloody hypocrites. Experts. Children at Broomfield aren't looking for experts. They're looking for people who have time for them at the time when they need them. And I didn't, I suppose. You could manage her. You could manage it. If you want her home, you can have her home. I'll arrange it. I've got three other kids and a man in thin bloody's way there. She can't look after a baby, doesn't want to. I can. That may be true. And you'll make a better job of it than you did with her. There's a baby up there. The baby's not my problem, Paula is. All right, you keep her then. I've got a baby. But you just said I couldn't deal with her. I'll have her back the minute she shows any feeling for that baby. I've told her exactly the same thing. In half an hour, the story of the dump, a possible nuclear waste site that transformed the lives of the villagers of Fullbeck.